welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Katerina or Kat if you're new here and today is a very special day because today is my birthday and I'm so excited because I have so many fun things planned pretty much for the week, for the month. I'm a girly that loves to celebrate her birthday for pretty much an entire month because I believe that celebrating your life and the things that you've accomplished is super important. And so because it's my birthday, I wanted to bring you guys along with me on this wonderful cozy weekend as I do everything that makes me happy and it all pretty much surrounds books and as well as the fact that I'm just very excited because this is my 29th birthday and I only have one year left of my 20s which is absolutely crazy to think as well as the fact that I am 25 weeks pregnant but with that let us get into the vlog I am heading out to go book shopping <laughs> very difficult getting up and down off of this floor. Today is not that day though, but sooner or later it's I'm gonna need a chair or something, an assistance, a pulley system. But anyways, I have a book haul to share with you guys from my birthday. It was such a wonderful day doing things that I love, book shopping, perusing the stores that are around us, um, going out with my family and my friends, being able to go out with my husband for dinner, seeing Deadpool and Wolverine. It's been an amazing birthday so far. Why not show you guys all of the books that I bought for my birthday? Because there are quite a few of them here, as you can see. So to start off with, I did pick up The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. At this point, anything that Jennifer Lynn Barnes writes, I will most likely read. I'm obsessed with the Natural series. I'm obsessed with the Inheritance games. I'm halfway through the final gambit and I, just love her writing. I love everything about her writing. I love about I love her characters. I love her mysteries. They're just so much fun to read. But of course, uh, I also then had to pick up the newest release of Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which was The Grandest Games, which I think this is the spinoff to The Inheritance Games, and it does follow the main character. Now, I don't want to spoil myself too much, so I've tried to avoid reading the synopsis for this one, but I did know that I was going to probably want to pick it up after I was done with the final gambit. Then the book that's been on my wish list for quite some time and I've seen quite a few people read it and love it. And a lot of the booktubers that I do follow also really enjoy this book and have given it between a four and a half and five stars. And that is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I don't know too much about this book except for the fact that it takes place in a Regency timeline. So think like debuts, going, uh, becoming, going out into the world and getting engaged and all that. And it is a Regency fairy tale romance so our main character apparently gets lost in the woods or is taken by Faye at a very young age and half of her soul goes missing and because of that she doesn't feel emotions like a normal human normally would and with her debuting into society it could potentially cause a problem for her and her family to marry into a wealthy family that's all i know it just sounds really good um i do like the regency era just in general if you look it up but if you don't know what the Regency era is, think of Bridgerton. That is a Regency era. I have not watched Bridgerton, uh, believe it or not. I have seen Queen Charlotte. You know, that was more interesting to me than Bridgerton. So 
Don't know much about Bridgerton, but I have heard that this is compared to Bridgerton. And another big release that I picked up was Reckless by Lauren Roberts. I have yet to read Powerless, as you can see that it is on my TBR cart, but I do plan on reading it and I'm very excited about reading it. And then another new release that was on my radar that I really wanted to pick up was The Sky on Fire by Jen Leones. She is the author of The Ruin of Kings, which I haven't also read. It's a series that's on my shelf that I want to read somewhere over there. Um, haven't gotten to it, but I have always been a big fan of dragons in books. And I'm not talking about Fourth Wing. Um, I'm talking more like Aragon, Game of Thrones, those types of dragons. It sounded really interesting to me. I love heist books. I love books with dragons. I like books with like really high stakes fantasy. And so why not pick it up? And then if you've been on my channel for a little bit, you'll know that I also collect manga and there's a lot of manga series that I absolutely love. And I did pick up some manga. And the first one is Spy Family Volume 12. This one also just came out. Very excited about this one. I'm a huge fan of Spy Family. It's so funny. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Highly recommend it if you're wanting to get into a manga series. I also recommend if you're looking for something super easy, romantic, beautiful, and just has the best art style I have yet to see in manga, highly recommend A Sign of Affection. I picked up volumes 8 and 9. These are both newer releases. But A Sign of Affection follows a young woman. Her name is Yuki, and Yuki was born deaf. And so it's her story of navigating the world being deaf and going to college, but also, but more importantly, experiencing love for the first time. And then finally, the last four volumes that I picked up here, and this is a weird name and I'm always kind of giggling at it, but I picked up the first four volumes of The Other World's Books Depend on the Bean Counter. It's a very long title and sometimes manga titles are so interesting, but pretty much the story of this is that a young man is one day leaving from work and he hears a woman screaming and ends up going and investigating and ends up getting sucked into a portal into a fantasy realm or a different realm than his own. The story doesn't follow the woman, it actually follows this young man and instead of, you know, him like freaking out and wanting to go back home, no, he instead decides that he's going to become an accountant for this kingdom. And that's it. That's all. And of course there's a captain of the guard that he's kind of, I think, falling in love with or has an attraction to, I don't know. All right, so there we have it. We've got 12 books here, 12 wonderful books that I'm very excited to read. Um, I am going to now actually update my TBR cart. There are just some books on here that I just don't feel like I'm going to get around to anytime soon, as well as some books that I just don't know if I want to read this year in general. And I do want to add in some of the books from my haul onto the shelf. So I am going to do a kind of TBR cart reorganization. Okay guys, so I have organized my TBR cart. This first shelf right here are books that I really want to get to as soon as possible or books that I want to get to within the next few months. Then the books on the second tier are books that I would like to get to sooner. Maybe we'll get to them later and then some manga that I would really like to read. So, And then the last shelf I really didn't change much. These are kind of books that I kind of would like to read this year and or have started but have stopped in the middle of. So there is the updated TBR cart. It's looking pretty good in this corner. Mm -hmm. 